As popularly requested by you guys, we will be making the Aerith Guide in this video. Now, it is important to note that I'm going to be filming this video from the demo because while the full game is out, I'm actually currently in a part of the story where I don't have access to the rest of the party. It's just Cloud by himself. So I cannot even access Aerith to use her in the VR missions or anybody else for that matter. It's just Cloud. We will go through her skill tree, which is something new and point out some really key details that I think you guys should really take advantage of in the full game. But her kit in the demo is pretty straightforward and honestly, very solid. And we have a lot of great things to talk about, especially with the fact that she does have synergy materia in this demo build. You don't get synergy materia in the full game until Cosmo Canyon. So I think it's better overall that we do this from the demo. Now, if you guys are interested in seeing my let's play of the game going through it for the first time, it's actually live right now on the channel. We've been streaming it. It's actually posted as individual streams and I've also been uploading the individual episodes via regular uploads. So whichever one you guys want to check out, feel free to do so. It's just the live stream ones still have the chat available so you'll be able to see the chat on there. And for more character guides, especially the advanced ones, because when we get to end game, you know we're diving deep into that. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these updates and also so you don't miss out on any of the Let's Play episodes. Now, let's get into Aerith's build. Aerith as a character is the main character you essentially want to set up first in combat because she can take a little while to get going. First strike materia is almost a plus. Like you need to have this on her. I would also have ATB boost as a yellow materia that lets her boost and double whatever current ATB it is she has right now. Precision defense is also great. Obviously healing materia is going to be phenomenal on her. She is the, she has the best magic damage stat and also the best healing in the game. So you can't go wrong with healing materia but also very important we have synergy materia paired to Aerith via whatever magic it is you're trying to go for you can put fire on her you can put ice on her you can put wind you can put lightning or the combination ones which is what I have right here I have fire and ice so depending on the enemy if the enemy is weak to ice but absorbs fire she will know to not use fire she will use ice instead it's very smart the way that they did these uh ai systems and how the characters function with synergy it's really really well done they will only use the level one spells of these magic attacks but trust me it is very very good in anybody's hands not just Aerith, but honestly high damage dealers when it comes to magic this is going to benefit the entire party we also have earrings on her because that boosts the magic power by five percent but of course, in the full game, we're going to have all kinds of other options and different weapons. And for the summon, we have Phoenix Materia on her because Phoenix boosts magic attack stat. Aerith is a ranged character and her square button can be pressed five times. It starts off as a single target attack, but as you continue to press it, you'll see she hits all the enemies, especially with the last two hits. They launch out three projectiles that can absolutely decimate smaller enemies lift them up knock them down just like that grounded enemies not so much obviously though when they're pressured or they're staggered different story they actually can be tossed around just like all the other characters Aerith can actually choose who she wants to hit if you have it on combo targeting free you can actually move the analog stick and move her basic attacks to whichever enemy so i'm cycling between right left and even the middle <laughs> now if you hold down square she has her tempest tied to that in remake it actually was tied to her triangle attack and that's been changed to ward shift now tempest is really really good in this game and it also was really good in remake you'll see no matter what attack hits her if she's holding down or she's in the middle of the tempest animation she can't be hit out of it will not work against uh bosses light projectiles it seems to work on but actual big physical attacks like that from bosses that won't work on that and when you let it go it creates a space right there and when it detonates, it detonates a lot quicker than Remake, by the way. It'll detonate and do a bunch of AoE attacks to enemies nearby and just absolutely decimate fools. It also, you see, it created a fleeting familiar. This was an individual ability in Remake. Now it's actually tied to her Tempest kit. So once Tempest hits an enemy and it goes off, it brings out a fleeting familiar to damage enemies and help out Aerith. But not only that, fleeting familiar will... Uh, do bigger damage off of her spell. So if she throws out a fire spell, let's say right here, see right there, it, it actually launched the enemy up before her attack did, which is really, really good. And as she attacks, it continues to attack. So it's overall more damage. Do Tempest as much as you can, guys. Go into this and just launch this out of enemies. This is what you honestly need to uh, have going out for Aerith. And Tempest, I think it lasts about 25 to 30 seconds. But you can uh, keep recharging it by doing and doing that over and over again. Look at that. It actually ended up staggering that enemy. Leading Familiar is really, really good. Word Shift by itself is actually a teleport for Aerith that helps her get out of danger. It's not great raw, 
just like that <laughs> like it's it's decent it's something that'll get her out of the enemy's range i mean you're better off just timing the blocks to be honest and getting getting uh, enemies off of you in that way but the cool thing about it is that if you have a ward out say you have an arcane ward i'll put one here and you run all the way across from Aerith, or if you're playing as a different character and Aerith moves off of the ward, and I know that can be very frustrating, you literally can teleport to it by pressing triangle and pointing the direction towards the ward right there. Look at that, she went all the way across the map. It's actually kind of cool. You can, just, you can do stuff like that to set up some better offense, create some space for Aerith, get her out of danger. Uh, there's a lot of enemies that have big, big attacks, and you could avoid them easily by doing that. And it's not just the arcane ward that this works on, she has a new one called. Radiance Ward. She could also teleport towards it. So she has multiple. You could literally jump back and forth between it against the enemies. Pretty cool. So starting off with Arcane Ward, the cool thing about Arcane Ward is anytime she uses a spell, uh, attack spell that is, Cure won't work in here. It has to be an attack based spell. Anytime she uses an attack based spell, it actually will double cast and the second cast costs slightly less MP. So right now she's at 46 MP. I'll show you guys real quick. The first one used 4 MP, the second one only used 1 MP. It can just straight up nuke enemies. Now say we have a fleeting familiar out and we do this. Watch the damage she does. That extra damage is really, really good. Aerith getting ATB as quickly as possible and starting off the match with two ATB or almost all the way there is detrimental to her gameplay. Seriously, first strike needs to be on Aerith. Cloud and Tifa and whoever else you use can get their ATB just fine. Aerith does have trouble building ATB because her attacks are susceptible to being interrupted. So now we actually have a new skill from Aerith called Radiance Ward. It's going to make a ward that grants her invincibility while casting spells. But not only that, it, it does change up her basic attacks animation and makes her a friggin beast, bro. Look at this light show she's just putting on. Her attacks are instant. It deals crazy damage. You are literally a god in this <laughs> and what's also cool is you can put an arcane ward over it so you can double up the wards so while you're in here you can double cast spells you can avoid interruption with them if she could put these on anybody as well it, she doesn't have to put the ward on herself she could put on another character across the map if she chose to it's just all around really good instantly killed heals half hp this doesn't change her tempest unfortunately it's the same animation sorceress storm is back and it's her aoe lightning attack it damages all enemies nearby if they are trying to get close to her it deals pretty good damage still almost 800 all across the board especially if an enemy is weak to lightning that's great so Aerith also has soul drain in this game it will drain mp from enemies if you do it on a normal unstaggered enemy it'll actually give you less mp so she has 32 right now she just got back three mp now let's use it on this staggered enemy. She got back seven. That's great, especially towards like end game when you're trying to get back alt, more MP than that. You can get back over 20 on some enemies. But Aerith's main strength comes from her being accompanied by another teammate. So right here, I am going to set up Aerith with her arcane ward, just so you guys can see. All right, we're going to have arcane ward set up on Aerith. And we're going to have Tifa, and I'll turn the camera around so you guys can see it. See, Aerith is back there. We'll have Tifa use an ability, and look at Aerith. Boom, boom. She double casted fire, completely destroyed this dude, and that costed no MP or ATB from her. Synergy is legit the best materia in this game, and you need to have this on Aerith. Let's put Aerith back on the ward, right? We'll use an ability with Tifa, and let's watch Aerith. Boom. Boom. Like that enemy died and she knew immediately to cast it onto this one. Synergy is goaded, guys. As soon as you get it, as soon as you unlock it, if you have it, you need to be using it. Even if you're not using Aerith, use it on any character. This makes it so that any character on her team, anybody that uses an ability whatsoever, they will let that proc and they will deal damage for them. And the best thing about Aerith is if you have the Arcane Ward on the teammate that has the Synergy ability, she's going to do a lot of damage. She's going to help benefit the team 
so much. And she's going to pick and choose and alternate the different attacks that actually will benefit that specific fight. So like right here, she used Blizzard. She didn't use fire that time. She used blizzard. And now here we're going to set up Aerith to be a, a freaking beast right now. Okay, so we are going to straight up get a fleeting familiar out. We're going to place an arcane ward on Aerith. Now we're going to switch to Tifa. After we get Aerith back on there. Switch to Tifa and look at this. ridiculous terrifying and ridiculous so my goal for this fight is to show you guys that you know Aerith can do defensive stuff like that build up atb put an arcane ward on herself have cloud go in the air and uh deal with bottoms well let's get cloud to get two atb and watch this he can cast thundara twice on the arcane ward so now Aerith has a fleeting familiar out we can cast Andara. it'll deal big damage from Aerith's side right now boom boom it's pressured again immediately Now here's the best part, right? See, like she's on the ward, Cloud is on the ward, Cloud's gonna cast Sundara, and she's gonna cast Thunder twice. They both did it twice right there. Ideally, you'll also be throwing Tifa into the mix and doing ability like big damage with her too. So this way, Thunders will keep procking off of Aerith because of synergy. But right now, I'm just trying to show you guys and talk you through it, like with from the perspective of using Cloud. <laughs> That was just <laughs> that was just unnecessarily OP right there. Her limit break, healing wind, will summon a soothing breeze to restore a medium amount of HP to her and everybody else. 842, so heals half HP. In addition to healing wind, Aerith also has another limit break as well from Final Fantasy VII Remake called Planet's Protection. This actually only procs after you do one of her synergy abilities. She has three different ones. She has Firework Blade with Cloud. She also has Divine Punishment with Tifa. And she has Planetary Roar with Red 13. All three of those ones raise their limit levels for each characters and allows them to use their level two limits, which for her is Planet's Protection. And what it basically does is it nullifies all physical damage being dealt to all party members can only be used once per battle pretty good especially if you have just saved up on the back burner and especially if you are going against a physical damaging enemy magic attacks will still hit you unfortunately and can kill you but this will at least protect you from the physical aspect and this is what divine punishment looks like with tifa and Aerith. so sick i love the team of attacks so much they're so godlike see now Aerith has planet's protection it does cost one lb and this is the animation for planet's protection it's pretty sick but since phoenix is more of a uh, <laughs> magic attack based enemy yeah see fire damage still deals damage and in the full game she's gonna get more synergy skills but right now in the demo all she has is bodyguard which basically is cover where she'll ask Cloud or Tifa, whichever one it is you uh, call for your aid, they can come over here and they will defend attacks that are incoming to Aerith. See right there. Apparently somebody said that there is a timing where like if you time it perfectly, you can get a precision block for Cloud and them. But I don't know. I haven't been, I have not seen it uh, happen and trying to get it to happen, but it just has not been working. And Tifa could do it as well. <laughs> It's kind of funny enemies are just so confused they don't know what to do but this is good if you're like doing attacks with Aerith and oh somebody's coming up on you you just uh get up out of there she does give cloud and uh tifa some other stuff too she has spell blade or cloud which is basically like void shatter functions the same exact way and then for tifa she helps tifa get in the air with uh heavenly ascent oops wrong one heavenly ascent there we go 
And there you guys have it. That's how you play as Aerith. She is not intended to be used as a solo character. She is very strong, probably the biggest damage dealer in the game, best magic user by far. But she's not going to get that far on her own. She needs other characters and synergy material to really benefit off of the crazy abilities that she has, like Arcane War to continuously non-stop cast magic and spam them down. Now, in a full-on fight, when she's standing on the Arcane War, she has synergy. You're using Cloud and Tifa. You're maximizing all their abilities. Aerith can literally throw out unlimited amounts of magic attack because synergy does not use any mp or atb and if she's standing on her arcane ward it will also double cast as well in addition to that she got some awesome abilities too and now i want to show you guys her skill tree now in Aerith's skill tree obviously you're going to want to click on the big damage ones the ones that are like increasing her her damage overall by like certain percentages max mp and whatnot but i think the moat and also increasing fleeting familiar durations by 25 percent there's all kinds of interesting individual things now i haven't unlocked the full entire tree yet but there is something that's entirely new that's been introduced into rebirth that i think everybody needs to be maximizing and take advantage of these abilities that are cost no mp whatsoever these would be very good in like hard mode and are also they exist to be on the character in case you went into a fight and you don't have the element that that enemy is weak to you get these right here they cost no mp they deal less damage but it's overall good to help pressure enemies that need elements to get pressured by but the best thing is, is if you look at this, right? This jet stream is a wind ability. It's arrow basically, right? Its effect is a wide range, but if you learn this ability, it will strengthen wind materia spells. That's the case for all of these. Thunder right here, learn this ability to strengthen lightning materia spells. In general, you want to get as many of these as you possibly can. This one's heat wave, this one will do fire materia. And of course, the last one over here is gonna be ice and in general these are things that i think you guys and everybody should be going for first especially if you're trying to run Aerith on your team not only are you going to be getting moves that don't cost any mp to use and save you if you go into a fight and unfortunately you don't have that materia when you do have that materia it will also benefit her and strengthen all spells from that category as well you definitely want to take advantage of that guys i know like tempest damage up by five percent is very enticing and honestly i went for that too but all in all strengthen all of these get the elements for Aerith, and she's going to be dealing massive big time damage for you very early on now again she doesn't get synergy until cosmo canyon but once you get that and on also on like subsequent like playthroughs on your hard mode run you'll have synergy then on new game plus and you'll be able to utilize it from the very beginning and get you guys squared away in all aspects of her combat if you guys found this helpful please 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 hit that subscribe button and notification bell and also drop a like it really does help us out a lot guys we are currently doing our let's play of final fantasy 7 rebirth and i'm really excited to get back and streaming it i would be playing it today but we did three days in a row and i kind of wanted to take a little bit of a break work on some content get some stuff done behind the scenes and maybe we'll be back streaming again soon i want to hear from you guys in the comments below who is your favorite character to use so far in final fantasy 7 rebirth and also who do you guys want to learn next comment below let's get a discussion going be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new more final fantasy 7 rebirth videos are on the way and you don't want to miss them my name is blitz and thanks for watching